After 10 weeks of exercise, controlled eating, and putting their bodies through something they've never done before, the Slim Down Showdown has come to an end. The contestants came into the VTV studios last Thursday for their final weigh-in to see how all the hard work paid off. 10 weeks ago, 30 contestants started the journey, and in the end, 22 finished the challenge. Here are their final comments, as well as their results. The overall experience was good. We had like dietitians and the workout um, lady Caprice. She was really um, nice and she helped us like motivate us and stuff. So it was an overall good experience. You know, I'm down to the weight I was in high school, believe it or not. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, it's been a long time. Um, but more so just getting kind of in the routine of working out on a regular basis. I think as an adult, um, we all know our lives get busy. Um, and that's kind of the first thing to go. So I've kind of made it more of a priority in my life to get back into working out on a regular basis. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think I met my goals because I changed the way my eating habits were. I have ate less sugar and cut out a lot of carbs and stuff and took out a lot of unnecessary stuff. And I just kept working out and I'm proud of my goal and I did halfway reach my goal. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a good group. It was a nice experience. I liked my team. And yeah, we just encouraged each other. Before, I didn't really go to the gym and now I feel like going to the gym is helping and eating. <laughs> the experience was great. Um, just, it was a lot of fun. And I did meet a lot of fun new students and um, the, the excuse free workout fitness, excuse, yeah. Um, that was awesome. I suggest that to anyone who wants to go there. She was an amazing trainer and the fact that, you know, the school let us go there, that was awesome. It was great. My main goal was to get more fit, which I definitely think I've been doing. I've been eating really healthy and I've been running a lot more and working out a lot more, so that has happened. But my weight goal did not happen, but I'm okay with that. Uh, even though I went up weight a few times, I can honestly say I don't think it was all that bad weight, but uh, you know, I still work at it. I just got in the habit of doing that and I made it my lifestyle and I just kept up with it and the pounds kept going off and the muscles kept growing. So I, yeah, just kept to my routine. My goal really was just to be feel better about myself, meaning feel healthier, feel a lot better when I wake up in the morning, not wanting to press that snooze button. And so far, ever since we started this, every day has been a lot easier to get up. I've been actually getting up a lot more early, so I just feel a lot better, I feel a lot healthier, and it's, that was my goal, just to be a better person. My overall goal was to just, you know, maintain my weight, get fit, stay fit, and I think I met up with that goal. Anyone who's trying to get smaller or stay in shape should consider joining if they do it next year. Um, I felt that the contest was um, a rather enjoyable experience. It was uh, a lot of fun. I enjoyed the competitive aspect. I'm a competitive person. Um, it was uh, a lot of fun. I didn't necessarily have a goal, but I definitely worked every day and made progress. So that's what I found most important overall. And it just got more and more enjoyable as things went on, especially when the challenges came into play. That, by far, was the best part for me the challenges. It kind of gives me the strength to continue with this, to actually reach my goal. So I'm going to continue over the summer with this. And uh, my work pants are actually a little bit looser on me, so that's good. Um, and then also my body fat percent, I'm um, down 17% body fat percent. So I would say that would definitely meet my goal. But overall, I did meet a goal, and that was just learning how to you know, control my weight and eat healthy and just overall just be a more healthier person. So that was my new goal that I had to change. Okay, well, my goal was to be in shape and lose some weight and lost weight, lose shape. Um, so that was my goal and met my goal. So I'm happy with that. Uh, well, I met my goal. I tried to lose between one and two pounds a week, and uh, as an average, I've lost two, basically two pounds a week during the nine weeks of the contest. I felt like the experience really helped me um, know that counting calories is good and keeping uh, exercise a priority, especially with the trainer that we had. She was very inspirational to me. As for the contest, two prizes are being awarded. The first is for individual accomplishment, 
based on the percentage of weight the person lost from the beginning of the contest to the end. The top five contestants include Lila Grant, Brianna Dunlap, Mr. Pateki, Christina Lloyd, and the winner of the individual contest, Mr. Keith Domkowski, who lost 7.01% of his original weight. Yeah, I'm extremely happy. I mean, for me, this has been, uh, you know, towards the end of January, I started with my, you know, with trying to lose weight and I've been working out and I've been very consistent with that. And I plan on continuing uh, throughout the summer and in, into the fall. The other award is for the team who collectively lost the biggest percentage of weight since the beginning of the contest. Of the 10 teams that started the challenge, only three were eligible to win the contest. Here they are in order of how they placed. The gray team, consisting of Miss Cole, Adia Fleming, and Chris Rexrote, came in third. The light gray team of Mr. Jimenez, Lila Grant, and Davis Young came in second. And the red team, consisting of Brianna Dunlap, Miss Trasuski, and Christina Lloyd, came in first, losing a total of 3.43%. The whole experience was a positive for many of the contestants. We started out, you know, as a competition, but it kind of transformed into more than that. It just became like a support group, um, really helping each other kind of achieve our own personal goals. Um, I enjoyed the whole process and look forward to hopefully doing it again next year. Even if everyone didn't lose the weight that they wanted, I think we're still taking away long-term messages of eating better and working out more. And it was nice to see that camaraderie between the teachers and the students. And I even gained some new uh, teacher friends along the way, so that was cool. You know, it made for a fun experience, and, and it made it, you know, it made it, uh, you know, rewarding for not only myself but also for the, for the students. A total of 87.5 pounds were lost by all of the contestants, and more than anything, they all learned the valuable lesson that taking care of your body isn't a 10-week challenge; it's a lifelong journey. Congratulations to all of the contestants on making it through the journey and competing in the 2016 Slim Down Showdown.